Alright, we got the star of the show. It's nothing but love in the building right now. We got Shakur Stevenson. Shakur, how you feeling, man? I'm feeling real good right now. Um, I feel like we came to celebrate. Everybody had fun. I'm the show. Listen, you brought the whole East Coast out. You got New York in the building, Jersey. I know you know you got the DMV in the building. Just speak on how it feels just to bring all these people out. This is the second time you packed out uh, the Prudential Center. Just speak on how that feels. I mean, they, they say I can't sell. They say I'm not a superstar. They say I can't punch. They say a whole bunch of lies that's not true. Um, so whatever they say, for all the up and coming people, you don't never listen to whatever they say. It's all about what you think. The media can't tell you who you are, what you can do. That's how I look at it. Listen, speaking of them saying you can't punch, it sure looked like you had a whole bunch of power in those gloves tonight. Just talk about uh, you being at 135 now, and it seems like you've grown into the division very well. I didn't have to cut as much weight. So when you cut a lot of weight, you like be a little bit more drained, a little bit more weak. Um, being that I didn't have to do that, I mean, I felt a lot stronger, I felt a lot faster, sharper, my reaction time was good, um, I could stand there and play shots how I want to, so um, all that no power stuff is out there, that's kept. So, what would you grade your performance tonight, uh, if you had to grade it, I know you didn't get to watch it, you haven't seen any film yet, but just how did you feel grade-wise, how you did tonight? I said A-, minus. A-, minus. it was some stuff I could have done better, but um, I mean, that's going to be every fight. I'm a hard critic on myself, so I could never give myself an A-plus. Unless I really felt this though, it was an A-plus performance. A-minus. Do you feel like that's because, uh, you know, the stoppage was a little bit early, it was a little bit premature, you could have worked a little bit more? Yeah, I feel like um, if he had let me keep going, I just caught my second win. And um, I was about to sit down on something real hard. Okay. Um, We had Keyshawn fighting. We had Kelvin fighting. Big Baby. And Shushu, just talk about the event, the guys. What what would you grade their performances and uh, just how everything turned out tonight? I miss Kells and Shu fight. Um, I saw Keyshawn. Keyshawn beat the hell out of, out of that dude. Um, he broke him down, and then uh, if they would have let it go on a little bit longer with Keyshawn too, he was gonna put him to sleep. So uh, big baby, oh my God, Lord Jesus Christ, I think he um, undefeated fighter he went against too. I think he may be honestly. If he keep going like with, with the talent he got, he could be one of the best heavyweights of all time. Like he, he he remind me of like a fairy mixed with an Ali in one, like mixed in one. So he a bad motherfucker. And y'all got. I enjoyed yeah. his show. I enjoyed watching him, and I'm proud that that's my little brother. So well, my little big big brother. little big brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the next big fight in the division. You know, you're the number one contender is the champ of the division, Devin Haney, him versus Vasil Lomachenko. How do you see that fight going? Um, and what do you got to say for the winner? Um, I mean, Dev's saying that he want to fight me, so if he want to fight me, let's do it. I ain't ducking no smoke, and if the champion calls me out, hey, man, that's a blessing. That's a blessing right there, so... I'm glad he said that, and let's sit down and get it done. I asked you in New York this question. You already told me your opinion, but one more time. Tank and Ryan, that's the next fight. Uh, it's uh, next week? We got the next week? Yeah, like two weeks. Yeah. Um, tank by knockout. But, 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 but. Do not count Ryan out. Do not count him out because um, Ryan been boxing for a long time. He got a lot of height. And depending on who comes in better shape, we're going to see how that fight goes. Alright, you're the only person I ask this question. Uh, breaking news, Fondora just got sparked. How do you feel about that? I, I sparked that dude, um, Brian Mendoza. Yo, I got a video that I, I put up a long time ago of me sparring him a long time ago. But um, congrats to him. Uh, that was a great performance and uh, much love and respect. But I sparred that dude when I was a 26 pounder. He was like 54 pounds. I had no clue. Um, <laughs> that's a shock to me. All right, so Shakur. We did a lot of rounds too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Shakur, just let everybody know where to follow you, where they can keep up with you. Next big fight announcement, or just to just keep in touch with uh and follow you. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter at Shakur Stevenson. Um, keep tuning in. I'm gonna be one of the greatest boxers to ever do it. When it's all said and done. Final words for the East Coast and Jersey. I appreciate.
appreciate y'all. Let's keep showing out. Let's do even bigger numbers the next time. All right, Shakur. Thank you very much, man. Congratulations. God bless.